Hello, and today we are... What? It's the Hungry Caterpillar. <gasps> ah, it's just a toy that I made, you see? Really easy. You just got your two fingers in here and you can make the caterpillar walk along. What? You want one? Well, this is mine. I suppose I could show you how to make one if you wanted one yourself. Um, first of all, you'll need some things though. So, listen to what this guy says. What we're going to need today is some glue, or if you've got some sellotape, that would be okay as well. Some scissors so we can cut up the paper. Um, ideally, some coloured card. However, if you don't have the coloured cards at home, you could always get normal white paper and use some pens so that you can colour it in the right colour afterwards. Right, are we ready to start? Let's go. Now, one more thing that might be useful for the first part of this I didn't mention before is a cup. It's got a nice round circle. I'll show you why in just a second. Now, first of all, we're going to start with the body of the caterpillar, which is green. So, I'll get my green paper here, and I'll put that on a good, tough surface, like a, a laptop that was built in the 1990s. And when we've got that on here, we can put the cup over and what we can do is draw four circles around the cup. So now we've got to cut the circles out. Of course, we need to have some finger holes for us to be able to walk with the caterpillar. So, what we need to do is use our fingers to see how big we want the holes to be. Put your finger roughly just above the middle and draw a loose circle around it. So you might need some help with this one. You need to fold gently without making a mark over the over the circle and then we just need to make a cut in the middle so now you can see you've got a little hole there for you to put your scissors into and you can then cut around the inside of your circle that's one of mine done Next, we need some red paper for his face. So here we go. I'm going to cut out one more circle and it has to be the same size. And now for my yellow eyes as well. Pen, please. Let's cut it all out. Right, next let's make the eyes. So get your glue stick together. Put your little green eye on. and stick that into so now let's put the face together of the caterpillar what you need to get is your tiny little triangle nose can you see up there put some glue on that and stick it exactly in the middle of 
the circle. So glue the back of the eyes. And just like on your face, put one just above either side of the nose. There. Make sure they're quite close together. Good. Then we need to do the ears. So rather than sticking them on front, we've got to stick them behind. And there we go. You've got yourself your very own hungry caterpillar face. Now we just need to connect that to his body. Finally, it's time to assemble our caterpillar. Now we've got to make it into a bit of a caterpillar shape with the finger holes being the lowest part and this going up like that. So we've kind of got the letter C here in a way. Now to join it, you need your glue stick and just with the first part, just put a little bit of glue on the end. Take your finger and then stick that on the top. And then we do the same for the next part. And we want the two parts of the body with the finger holes to be the lowest down. So there we go. You've got the two holes here and the tail goes up a little bit. And we want the next part of his body to also go up a little bit like this. So again, glue and place that up. So now we've got that. And then finally, glue the next part of his body. And that is where his head will go. So when you hold it up, you've got your caterpillar like that. You might want to let it dry for a moment first, but when you do, you can get your two fingers, pop them in the back, and you can do a little walk. Say goodbye, Mr. Caterpillar. Oh, goodbye. Oh, oh, oh.